has stood up to China like no administration has ever done before. Bringing in hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars pouring into our Treasury from China when no other president had gotten even 10 cents. Not one president got, and I literally mean not 10 cents. We got hundreds of billions of dollars. I don't think they liked me too much, but that's okay. Well, everybody else is paid off by China, including, by the way, our president, okay? It's a big problem. You wonder why he does nothing about China, why he doesn't do what he's supposed to be doing, because he got millions of dollars from China. You see it. I made big promises to the people of New Hampshire, and as your president, I kept every single promise. When China unfairly targeted our lobstermen, I gave them hundreds of millions of dollars in relief straight from the money we were taking in from China. We took a little bit out, like a little bit, hundreds of millions of dollars, by the way, but that's a lot to a lobsterman. And we, uh, we brought it back. I made a deal with the European Union to completely eliminate tariffs on American lobster. You know that? They were charging us big tariffs so that we couldn't sell to them. The first EU tariff reduction on any product in over 20 years. Nobody ever asked the EU, or if they did, they didn't get it, because they're very difficult people to deal with. I want to tell you that. They don't care about us. They care about them. And maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, right? I also opened up 5,000 square miles of ocean that Barack Obama closed to New England fishermen. You know about that. But you also know I opened them up totally. Nobody could even tell me why they closed. They get miles and miles of beautiful oceanfront. And now I understand that they want to close it up again. Is that true? I can't. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Yeah, let, let Canada. Let Canada do all. You know, Canada is the one that wanted it closed because they want to do the business. And I gave our farmers $28 billion out of the tariffs that we took in from China because they were treated very unfairly. I said, how much would it be? They said, approximately $28 billion. I said, I'm going to take it from China. China paid them $28 billion. Who else is going to do that one, okay? Tell that one to President Xi. You mind giving our farmers $28 billion? Actually, better than that, uh, we signed an incredible trade deal with China. But once COVID came in, I didn't care about trade deals so much. But it's a tremendous trade deal, $50 billion. And it was uh, an amazing deal. But once, once COVID came in, I didn't even talk about it. In everything I did, I put New Hampshire first and I put America first, everything. When I left office, we handed Joe Biden the fastest economic recovery ever recorded all with no inflation. We didn't have inflation. We had low energy prices that kept it down. When he stopped the energy, stopped the drilling, you know, I have a sign, drill we must, right? They have a sign, don't drill. We won't, just, they won't do it. They won't do it. What they're doing is crazy. And what it's done is raised everything. And now everything's so high, and now they've taken on their own inflationary trend. It's not just energy anymore. But they did that with energy. They destroyed our economy with the high prices, all electric cars. Oh, that's wonderful. Everybody, they don't, they don't have enough electric to turn on the lights. And now they're going to say, let's, let's do all electric. I love electric cars. They go for about an hour and a half. <laughs> then you're in the middle of nowhere. You're saying, how do I get this thing charged up? He took that booming economy and he promptly blew it to shreds. He took the greatest economy in history. It was just announced that in the first quarter of 2023, GDP growth was a very weak 1.1 percent, and the forecast show it's going to be getting much, much worse. So we're at 1 percent and getting worse. That doesn't sound too prosperous, does it? Look at these other countries that are eating our lunch. I had them. They were doing anything they could. They respected your leader. They respected your country, I want to tell you. They saw me coming. They weren't happy. They weren't happy. Every time France or one of the countries, but France in particular, they were a little difficult. I, I really like their leader, but he's a very difficult guy. 
And uh, whenever he got cute and wanted to tax our people or our companies, I just say, that's okay. We're going to put a 100 percent tariff on all wine and champagne coming into the United States. They would say, no, 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 we will not do it. We have decided we won't do it. No, but I don't think they do that. I don't think they do that in this group here. Uh, we should have tremendous power. We have tremendous economic power that we don't use. But, you know, uh, we better be smart because soon we're not going to have economic power. We're not going to have anything. Since Joe Biden took office, the typical family has lost over $7,400 in annual income. Think of that. Inflation is out of control. Banks are collapsing. Banks are going bad. That's a bad sign. You remember 1929, it started with the banks. Real wages are down 24 months in a row, the longest losing streak ever, ever, ever in our country. Think of that. Real wages. That's what it's all about, is real wages. The trade deficit has surged to a record $1 trillion. Household wealth has declined by $4 trillion. These are numbers that nobody's ever seen before. You know, they stand up and they say, no, the economy is good. The economy is horrible. After Biden shut down the Keystone XL pipeline that I started and passed a $20 billion tax hike on American energy, gas prices in New Hampshire are up 53 percent. And your state, congratulations, you did have one good thing from this administration. You set a record, if you like records, but not like this. Your state has the highest electricity costs in the entire nation. Tell your governor he ought to work on that a little bit. You know that, Steve? You have the highest cost in the entire nation. I will quickly be able to cut that number in half or more than that. I'll do that. Nobody knew that. New Hampshire has the highest electricity cost. I think the highest energy cost, but highest electricity cost in the nation. Let's go to all electric cars. How does that sound, right? You have the highest electric cost in the nation. They don't want to give you — they don't want you driving. Like, how about driving for about an hour and 15 minutes? And then say, it's time to get him. Time to get a charge. Joe Biden cares only about enriching his own family. I care about enriching your family and you. A Biden victory will be bad for you, good for China, and truly great for these globalists. We've got a lot of globalists. A Trump victory will be bad for the globalists, the rhinos, the communists, the Marxists, but it will be great for the hardworking people of New Hampshire. Within hours of my inauguration, I will begin the process of terminating every Biden policy that is brutalizing New Hampshire and all U.S. workers.